plants have been harnessing light energy from the sun to make food through photosynthesis since the dawn of time. We humans have also been using solar panels to tap on the sun's energy to provide us with electricity to power our daily activities. But how exactly do we turn solar energy from the sun into useful electrical energy for us? Well, today, we'll be going on a treasure hunt to find and take a closer look at some of these solar panels. Let's go! Ooh. One of the places where you can find solar panels is at our very own HD rooftops. And I know some of the flats here have solar panels installed right above. We're going to meet someone who will bring us up to take a closer look at these solar panels. Ooh. Oh my god, this is so interesting. Oh, the side. Oh, it's there. Solar panels are found on rooftops because the amount of power generated is maximised if the solar panels are fully exposed to the sun. And since in Singapore there's literally so many buildings dotted around the whole island, this is one of the innovative options that we've come up with. A solar panel is really interesting, so let's take a closer look at its core elements. The solar panel is usually made up of an outer layer of glass casing and an inner layer comprising many solar cells that are interconnected with one another. The glass casing protects the solar cells from dust and debris, while the layer of solar cells is where all the magic happens. Let's go find our next location. Let's go. I'm good. Oh. Hello. Go, go, go. So what are we doing at the reservoir? There's no high-rise building around here, right? Well, you don't always need solar panels to be on top of buildings. It can be anywhere as long as there's enough sunlight reaching the solar panels. Even on water! Look! It's there! Oh yeah, you're right! Our very own National Water Agency, PUB, has been putting up floating solar panels at Bedok Reservoirs, Lower Salita and Tenga Reservoirs to reduce carbon footprint and move towards more sustainable water operations. Remember how I mentioned that the layer of solar cells is where all the magic happens? Sunlight is made up of tiny particles known as photon. Each solar cell is like a sandwich of positively charged and negatively charged layers. When the photons hit the solar cells, they release energy, they knock some of the electrons out and freeze the electrons within the sandwich. These electrons can then be directed into wires and flow out in a circuit. And this electron flow results in electric current being generated. If it's that easy, why don't we just go 100% solar? It's also about having enough space to put up solar panels in the first place. And in Singapore, where there's obviously limited land, we have to set aside land that could be used for other purposes to install solar panels instead. And also, solar panels only work in the day, so we have to figure out ways to store it for nighttime usage. Wow, this is pretty cool. Like, different patches of solar panels, right? They look a bit different because they're from different companies. So they can actually come here and test their solar panels out, you know, make modifications, improve them. Oh, it's so cool! Thank you! Next location? Next location! Another challenge we have here in tropical Singapore is our beautiful weather. So whenever when it rains or when there are too many clouds, the solar panels cannot work. Having said that, Solar energy is definitely a clean energy source that Singapore wants to use more of. We are working towards achieving 1.5 gigawatt peak of solar energy by 2025. This is equivalent to meeting the needs of around 260,000 households in Singapore annually. Hopefully, you have learned a bit more about how we are harnessing the power of the sun to create a more sustainable energy future. Just keep thinking!